Liz. We're going to build on what we've already learned about working out the surface area of a square or rectangular tank, and now we're going to tackle volumes. Remember, if your measurements have been done with different units, like some bits are in metres, some bits are in centimetres, convert everything to the same units before you start. I recommend metres. So, we've got two ways we can do this. We can either use a surface area we've already worked out, and just multiply that by the height or depth, or we can go for broke and start for scratch and do a three-parter. Let's take the first case first, where we already know what our surface area is. We work that out by multiplying the length by the width, and that gave us 4 metres times 2.5 metres gave us a surface area of 10 square metres. If you multiply metres by metres, you end up with square metres. Now all we need to do is multiply that by the depth of our tank, in this case 3 metres. So that 10 metre surface area times the depth is 3 metres, that gives us 30 cubic metres. You'll notice our surface area was in square metres, We've multiplied that by metres again, giving us volume in cubic metres. So now let's go for broke as if we hadn't already worked that out, and we're just going to do length times width times depth to give us volume. Metres by metres by metres, that's going to give us cubic metres for our volume. So, easy. We've got 4 metres times 2.5 metre width times a 3 metre depth and that gives us the same answer, not surprisingly. We end up with a volume of 30 cubic metres. Now something useful for you to realise is one cubic metre is the same thing as one kilolitre.